Okay, let's get in positions, everyone. Camera one into a fast second period. Camera one, track left. Open up. Watch your focus, Kids are on the air. Kids wanna know. Kids wanna know. Kids wanna know. I'm Chris Eddy, and this is KWK News. News for kids. Now, how many of you out there are in school and have science classes? And you think it's boring, you don't like them? Well, if you're bored with science, we're going to take you almost live right now to Chris Eddy, our ace reporter, and he's going to tell you how science can be fun. Thanks a lot, Chris. You are right. We are almost live in old Sacramento right now at the Discovery Museum, where they learn about history, science, and technology. And they brought something special this time. It's called the Science Carnival. It's a big tent. We're going to go inside. It shows you all kinds of games to help you learn about science technology. It's a lot of fun. Let's go check it out right now. OK, this is what Sicily looks like. One of the things they try to do at the Science Carnival is grab your attention. And it's pretty easy to do when the star of their animal show is a big snake called Sicily. Part of the Science Carnival is to teach you about exotic animals on the stretch. But the main part is to learn about science by playing games. The main thing we're trying to do is have an effect on people's attitudes more than content in terms of science. So we're more in, in, interested in people trying things and saying, hey, science is fun. I mean, I might either want to keep being a lifelong learner if you're an adult, or if you're a kid, you might want to keep taking science classes in schools. Now what this first thing does is check your reaction time to see how quick you are. What you have to do is you press the start button, and then when this light comes on or you hear the tone, you press the stop button and it tells you how quick you are with your fingers. So we press the start button. 0.23, that's pretty fast. This next thing is called the bicycle wheel gyroscope. Now what you do is you spin this wheel here, then you pick it up and you hold it at an angle, and then what it does is it tilts you around and around on the wheel below. This next one's called angular momentum. And what it does is you get on this treadmill right here and you start spinning. Now when you start spinning, you keep pushing and pushing until you go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And faster. Then you let up. And that right there, you keep going, that's called momentum. You just keep going and going and going, and after a while, gravity slows you back down. Nice job, Sammy. Now these are called the bubble races. We're going to find out which one of these liquids is the thickest by pressing down these plungers. You ready? Three, two, one, press! Okay, these go up pretty fast, so that's pretty thin liquid, but this one goes up real slow, so this is the thickest liquid. This is the gravity well, which kind of shows how planets revolve around the sun. When you spin these balls, they go round and round, but as the gravity gets pulls on them, they get closer and closer to the center, as you can see, going round and round till they finally go down the hole. Water go down the hole. Here at the Science Carnival, they also have things that make sure that your health is okay, like checking out your eyesight, or checking your blood pressure, or a machine that shows how strong your heart is and how it pumps blood. And this machine checks your hearing. It puts out a tone, and then what you have to do is press these buttons and turn this dial to match that tone. Now I have a cannon here, but this one's not dangerous. It's an air cannon. It just blows air. What I'm going to do is hit this drum, the air compresses, and you'll be able to see the air blowing out on those little pieces of paper on the other side. You ready? This machine is for you studs out there. It's to check how strong you are with your grip. All you do is you squeeze this. Let's see what happens. And how many lights you can light up. Where'd it go? missing. This is called the Bernoulli ball. What it is, is it shows you how air can push against the ball, but gravity pulls it down to hold it in one place. Watch. Whoop. Now we're going to tell you a little bit about muscle coordination and how to be coordinated when walking or riding a bike like this one right here. What you try and do is press these buttons in a sequence that's smooth enough to keep that bicycle going round and round. So we go. Uh, eh, don't go backwards. Don't go forwards. Go back. Back to you, Chris. Oh, oh, thanks, Chris. Uh, is there anything else going on out there? Now I bring you to the sports part of the show and the pitching cages. I'm going to show you how slow and fast I can throw it with accuracy. First, the slow one. That was 12 miles per hour. That's pretty slow. Now we're going to go to the fast one. You ready? From the stretch. 46 miles per hour, that one would have been a grand slam, I can tell. Back to you, Chris. 
Okay, what I'm gonna show you now is how a hot air balloon works. Now what we're doing right now is heating up the inside air molecules because hot air is lighter than cool air. So once there's enough hot air molecules on the inside of this balloon, it's gonna start making the balloon rise like it's doing right now. Have you ever been at a fun house of mirrors? Well, that's what they have out here also. The different shapes and angles of the mirrors cause distortions or changes in your face and body. Ah, uh, so if you come over this way, you're gonna be able to see our photographer Smokey in the anti-gravity mirror and makes him look upside down. Microscopes, their job is to show us up close what we wouldn't normally be able to see with a human eye. At this place, we learn about sound waves. Now, we can hear them because they can travel through air. They also travel through water. And if you look closely, the sound gets a little lower, and you can see it traveling through the water. The lower it gets, the more effect it has on the water. Now, this is like bottled lightning. There's plasma on the inside that you also see in lightning. And if you put your hands on the glass, the lightning is attracted to it. Like Dave said earlier, what the Discovery Museum and the Science Carnival are all about is helping to teach you about science technologies and help you guys to ask questions and learn more and create new ideas. Back to you, Chris. You know what? I'm coming up with an idea already. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Uh, just a side note to that, uh, this Saturday coming up, October 1st is Fox Kids Club Day at the Discovery Museum Science Carnival. Bring your Fox Kids Club card and you're going to get in free. That's right. October 1st, Saturday is Fox Kids Club Day at the Discovery Museum Science Carnival. You bring your Fox Kids Club card, you're going to get in free. It's going to be the biggest potty of the year.